Welcome to Cooking with Chris. I'm Chris Carter. And these are the ingredients for my meal tonight. And it is a spicy marinara sauce over beet and zucchini spiral cut spaghetti. This is totally raw, means that nothing is being cooked and all the enzymes are still in the food when I eat it. So the ingredients, I'll go over the ingredients first. I have the beets and the zucchini, those for the spaghetti. I have some fresh tomatoes from uh, my rural rascal neighbor Irene's garden. And this pepper is also from Irene's garden. This pepper is not, this is from the grocery store. Granny Smith apple from the grocery store. Fresh ginger, grocery store. Shiitake mushrooms, grocery store. Chives, unfortunately, the grocery store too. Sun-dried tomatoes that um, I've been soaking in olive oil. Uh, some fresh lemon basil from my garden. You can see that it all went to seed, so it's not gonna be quite as tasty as it would be if I had been home to trim the, the seeds off. Then we have some um, Himalayan salt, pink salt, some cayenne, organic cayenne pepper, and some fresh ground peppercorns. And of course, olive oil. So those are all the ingredients, oh, and a garlic bulb. Those are all the ingredients we need. I'm gonna use this wonderful chopping block that Tom made for me. He, he took a chopping block that had belonged to his grandfather and he cut it down into this wonderful painter's palette chopping block. So I am going to chop these things up and I will be back when they're all in their little piles to go into the processor to be chopped up. Then I will show you how I do the spiral cutting of the zucchini and the beets, and I'll put it all together and we'll give it a try. Be back in a minute. Welcome back. I've chopped up the ingredients that are gonna go first into the food processor. I have half a cup of chopped up apples, and these are just coarsely chopped because they're gonna be in the processor and get all blended together. So again, half a cup of the green apple, half a cup, it's actually more, of the sun-dried tomatoes that were soaking in the olive oil for several hours, two cups of the chopped pepper, one cup of the chopped up tomatoes, and look at these little baby tomatoes, aren't they cute? They're just really great. Um, and two to three tablespoons of grated ginger, I use this old grater from my childhood to grate the ginger. Um, called for two cloves of garlic, but I put in five cloves of garlic. And I think that's it. All right, the chives and the basil will get chopped after I mix this up, and that will get put in later and just stirred up a little bit. And then I'll chop up the shiitake mushrooms. Now my recipe doesn't call for the shiitake mushrooms. Uh, just as a reminder, this is the spicy ginger marinara from uh, the Raw Food Cookbook, page 266. Okay, so I'm gonna get my food processor out and I'll be back in a minute. I'm back. Here's my food processor, and I'm gonna dump all of these things into the food processor. I like using this parchment paper or the wax paper to transport and to keep the food clean from the chopping block in case there's something, some other flavor on there. Okay, I'm gonna put this in, and I did forget to mention the olive oil and two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna take the olive oil from, from the bowl that I was soaking in. This is going to be blended to a smooth consistency. When I add the herbs, I'm going to leave some chunks of herbs not fully blended. Okay, now the consistency is a little bit coarse, but I like it that way. So I'll show you. Okay, so there 
requires the consistency. It could be smoother if I put it in a blender or in the Vitamix. Okay, so I'm going to chop these up and I'll be back. Okay, so I've chopped up the chives and the basil. Now this is lemon basil and it really doesn't taste anything like real basil. It tastes really lemony. So it's going to be a pretty lemony sauce. Here goes. Okay, that's it for the sauce. There we go. And the mushrooms I'm just going to chop up and put on the top. Alright, the last step is to use the spiral cutter. And this is my favorite. It just works really well. There's a little thing here. You can either have it just spiral um, or make the spaghetti by putting in this other cutter. And apparently it's not available anymore, which is very sad because it's just the best ever. So you put the vegetable in there. And that holds it down. And then and it didn't do such a great job this time. Usually it does better than that. Same thing. That's why they discontinued it. This thing has always worked like a charm. So today. But it's alright. It's kind of cool. Tom is always amazed at how much I can eat when I'm eating raw. Let's get it soft. And sprinkle. Pretty nice, don't you think? Then. Thanks for watching. This is Chris Carter, Cooking with Chris.